Welcome back, and while we're in the Zvart village, we're going to go ahead and head on over to the area directly north of the Null Stronghold that some people like to call Bear River. Uh, you'll see why it's called that in just a moment. We start out by being attacked by dogs. Uh, this I have a feeling this may be a longer area, so I'm going to cut around uh, for content. And... Because there's, there's just a few things to do out here. And uh, we're fighting a, quite a lot of dogs. The enemies out here can be quite dangerous. So we're going to take it slowly and carefully. Um, because I'd rather not have someone die all the way out here. I mean, if it happens, it happens. Uh, and I'll be upset about it. So the first area we're going to go to is down here. You just find the river and then walk down it. And you'll find a nobleman. Maybe I misjudged where he is. There he is. Oh, thank goodness you've come by. There's a bear on the other side of that river or bridge, and he's coming this way. So we're going to go into our skinny party formation and hope that it can't walk around a jauntus. And where's the bear? There it is. It's a polar bear. So, I don't really remember if polar bears are all that scary, but we're going to hit him with the magic missile anyways. Come on, Nira. There we go. Bam, bam. And the polar bear is no more. So, 900 XP. So, better than a cave bear. And, uh... So that's that. Now, if your party has a good reputation, you're going to get an item off of the snowwoman, which we will. Because, oh, why thank you. As for me, you can't pay, st pay me to stick around in this place. So you get 100 XP and the Boots of the North, which give you frost resistance. We're just going to stick those on a Jauntus, because I don't really know of anything better to do with them uh, this time. And now we're going to walk along the river to the north side where there will be, well, actually, I th yeah, we're going to walk north a bit and avoid the godless killing machine there. And we should be meeting a bandit somewhere up here. My oh, there's some elite hobgoblin. Thank goodness this is going so well. Elite hobgoblins are quite the scary thing because of their poisonous arrows. Uh, I did buy some antidote potions back in Nashville, Salted. but it's still like I <laughs> I don't know. Double damage from poison that does like constant damage is really not an exciting proposition. Alright, our friend, our mugging friend, should be around here somewhere. Someday I will find him. There he is. Ah, oh, weary traveler. Traveler, yeah. Did you find all five of them then? You just say you spotted his five men. Pity, I'll have to train them better. So you just attack this guy. He can pose a little bit of an issue, and if any of those hobgoblins up there get lucky you can die pretty quick but we're gonna drop the wand of fear Go on them to pool. incapacitate the them eyes. and that takes care of most of them and Neville goes down like a He's sack of potatoes playing. so no biggie there the Jauntus takes a little damage but these are you know these are hobgoblins no different from the ones we fought outside the friendly army and you know ages ago when we were several levels lower so not a huge issue for us it's just waiting for the archers to score a hit there we go now you don't want to veer too far around here obviously because there's scary stuff in these woods and uh so now we're going to just take his loots, send some stuff near his way, because the Jauntus is running out of space, 
There we go. Get some bows for the arch, some arrows for our archers. Those stacks of 80 are so nice. I am sad that they were not included in the original. Now Neville's got a bandit scalp, a plus one sword, which is worth about 600 gold at our at our level uh, of popularity. So not bad. If you had yet to go kill Grey Wolf, this could be viable. I think this may be harder than the Grey Wolf fight, though. It, like if if we didn't have a Jontas sitting, you know, at a, a very low With AC, we would have trouble with the, the fight that's coming up here. A lot of trouble with the fight that's coming up here. There we go. And now we're moving on. You'll find another bridge here and we need to be, yeah, so that's an Ogre Berserker. We need to be really careful about him. Stand back and watch this. We need to get Nira away. Need to make sure. Okay, yeah. so he goes down. Minsk. Wow, Minsk did massive damage to that guy. So really, we we'll, we won that so easily because we got lucky. These hobgoblin elites and the ogre berserker that are with them are extremely scary. We're gonna throw a chromatic orb at him, which is essentially like magic missile. 8 damage, so nothing too spectacular. I'm going to pull my cleric very close to Ajantus because I worry that if he does get hit, either by the poisonous arrows or we leveled up. If he got hit by the poisonous arrows, and I'm pretty sure if that ogre hit him, he'd have like 2 health or less. So lots of Mone. Don't need that bow so much, though. Uh, Ogre's not really got on anything on him, and a nice little gem. So, more junk for Nira's junk bag. And Kaivin is ready for level 4. So, not going to turn the difficulty down. He gets 2 hit points. So, that's going to sting. And, uh, yeah, so oh, he's at 28 hell. hit points. Yeah. At level 4, which is pretty low. Now we get to the other side of this bridge, and it's important to note that I go to this ogre first. If you go to the, the lady that you see first, she'll attack the ogre and steal your XP. So this is, there's the, the lady in question. We're going to pass her by. See some of this blood, and here's an ogre. And he's not hostile. Crush. You no bother, me eat, we fight after me fat happy. We fight now then, make you dessert, pound you into pudding. And he goes down really easily, and a jauntus levels up. So, some junk for the junk bag. And we'll level up a jauntus. He gets seven hit points, so that's not all that bad. It could be worse. Duty to one's cause Putting him at 39. And now we're gonna talk to the lady. So if you know, and that's yes, just uh if if she sees that hostile ogre, she'll attack, and we don't want that. She says that uh, we need to kill these these gibberling hordes. And we already went to the gibberling mountains and disposed of them, but this is a lot of gibberlings. And also note how they spawn, so I'm very afraid for Nero right now. Because uh, they still, I mean, they're still going to hit pretty hard. See, one shot and Nero's almost dead. I can't afford to try and heal her because it'll you take too long. Because those guys attack pretty quickly. So... We're just going to have to burn one of our emergency potions. Also, if uh, your friend here kills the gibberlings, you don't get any of the XP. So, I, I assume there's probably been people that have played this that try to box her in so that they get all the 
XP if they're trying to be ultra efficient. But I don't really care that much about the 35 XP that's getting split six ways. I'll do it. Minsk is the only one that needs it. Don't bother as you wish. And we're just gonna loot these guys. Nothing yeah. too special. Plague on the Sword Coast. Goodbye. You get 250 gold, and Why, that's it for Bear River. So we are going to head out of here and go back to Nashkel and cash out. Uh, so until next.